Let's create this polo shirt. First, let's move my light, clean up my table, turn on my favorite light and the PC. And let's start. Shift A and add a circle. Number three, G and move it down. Number one on your keyboard and place the circle in the middle like that. Tap to the edit mode and scale it down. All right. Now we shall, yes, we shall extrude it. Just press E on your keyboard and extrude it up like this. We shall also take this G Z and move it down like this. Perfect. Now go to the extra view and number three, select everything like that. E left click S and scale it out like that. Now go with E again and extrude it down with the Z look. Now we can drag it down like this. Let's drag it even more. G Z if you are just and if you just want to edit it, you can always press G and move it up and down. So that's pretty pretty easy. Now we shall S and scale it up like that. All right, this is how it looks. Now let's go and copy the body itself so we're just gonna select that body shift d now we're gonna drag it down here to the shirt tap to the edit mode select everything with a and scale it up just slightly perfect go to the modifiers apply the bevel but that can only be done in the object mode so i just step out apply and apply and now this became a separate mesh object for our beautiful shirt all right so now let's delete this and this vertex x and just delete it like that now we shall take those two vertices we're gonna toggle on the Y symmetry edit and now if whenever I do something we can always get it on the other side as well So we're gonna select those four actually G Z and let's move it down like this Now rotate that and rotate it towards the middle like this cool Now let's play with those two as well G Z Number one and just rotate it a little bit and we shall also move it Lightly. Okay, I, I still, mm -hmm. I still got some of the vertex there selected. So hmm. let's just make sure that we have only those. Now G and rotate it so there is nice curve of that color of ours. Perfect. Now let's add the modifier the subdivision surface all right and also the solidify that's also the one that is quite useful now you can see that we got a little bit of the volume so we're gonna go for zero zero point five like this let's add the level of the viewport cool right click and shade it smooth as well now Select this vertex here and G, Z and this, move it down. And perhaps also those two G and move them down like this. Okay. It's a beautiful color off of our shirt. Now let's proceed with the connection here between the color and the shirt itself. So I'm just going to toggle the X-ray view just to see how it is here. Let's select this loop. So I'm just going to unselect everything and let's click on this here shift alt and now we have this beautiful loop or perhaps let's actually select only those in here in the front like this that's probably better we're gonna go with g and let's move them 
like this towards the front look at this how it looks okay you can see that this here is not seamless but the transition is a little bit better to <laughs> the shirt's body i'm not a tailor unfortunately so i don't know exactly how are these things called so let's just move them slightly bit like this we're gonna press ctrl r and let's add a loop here like that now i'm gonna select let's create the loop again because what we wanted to actually to have it really really down here in the bottom so let's control r again and create that loop inside here and then drag it to around this position where the body of the shirt is and the idea here was to move those vertices a little bit like this so there would be a little bit of the curvy transition into the shirt itself okay so now let's see okay this is way better nice now let's g Z and let's just move the whole thing down like that and now we're just gonna create the seam here for the button so let's shift a and add a plane g z down like that now we're gonna scale it number one tap to the add mode s x object mode move it in the front way front in the front now we can rotate that just maybe like this so far is so cool number three tap to the mode s x and sorry it's gonna be actually y you knew i was trying to get you right you know that it was y actually okay so let's s y even more and i think that this is nice okay now we can just press s and scale it even more let's fix it here we actually were scaling it in all the axes before in this view so now let's tap to the object mode and place the thingy close to the body okay now we shall take the x-ray view select those vertices here g And let's just move them slightly down but i guess that's also fine let's also take this one and move it here now let's press e and let's extrude those okay i think we'll go a little bit more maybe around this position even more so let's just go around the body of the shirt now select those two here on the top and we're gonna do the same extrusion and now we'll try to keep it on the surface of this inner collar here so i believe that it's that's this line here and we shall just extrude it up like that very easy very chill what a chill okay and i believe okay it was too much now we can fix it in here it's just g set and move it down look at that <laughs> okay we can also add a loop here in the middle like that to just move this g z so that it be just slightly curvy here on the top okay look at that i'm wondering what's this here but anyways let's try to add a solidify modifier okay let's add it to the okay the other side so this is quite a lot <laughs> this will do the job and let's add a bevel as well
Okay, so the bevel doesn't really help here, so let's try the subdivision surface. Mm-hmm. That's way better. So let's just add more of the V-ports, tap out, and create it smooth. I think it can also be a little bit wider, so let's just select everything in the add mode as Y, and let's just scale it up. Maybe like this. That's cool. In here, the way to make this more rounded here in the bottom would be G, Z, and drag it down like this. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And also, let's fix here the things on the top. So let's G, Z, and let's see if there's any way we can fix this. But. Of course, it would require to add more loops here, but I think just leave it as it is. It's fine. So now let's add a few buttons here. Okay, serve A, and we're gonna add a circle. I like adding circles. So, number one, and move it in the front like this. Now, tap to the other mode, S, and scale it down. Now we're gonna go with E and extrude it up like this, then E again and scale it down with the S. Look how easy it is. <laughs> e, Z, drag it down, and now let's just press F. And voila, the button is done. We can obviously add also a little bit of the bevel. That was too much, but let's say 0 0.5. Will it help? Maybe adding more segments to make it more rounded. Right click and shade it smooth. Okay, so the button is ready as well. Now let's open it in the, or have it in the object mode. We're not opening it really in there. And uh, let's go to number seven. And now let's just tap to the edit mode and scale it so it's aligned with the stripe that we created before. Maybe just slightly better, okay, just slightly like that. Now we are in the object mode. Off rotation and rotate it so it would be perfectly positioned so it can lay on that stripe, okay. So I guess this is perfect. Shift D to copy, G and let's just shift D again, shift D again. Okay, cool, and now we can just rotate each And position it on the body. Okay, so this is it. Shift D. Now I think I will need that extra view. G Z. Shift D. Okay, and Shift D. Now let's have a look and check how it looks in the real 3D view. Okay, because that this is a little bit too much. Of and I guess we won't be needing this one either. And now let's just fix it. There's too many buttons anyways. And this one here. All right. So this would be our beautiful minimalist shirt. And this is the final render. Enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Tongue is out. Shut up.